That's Kyle Gibson, the Orioles opening day starter, who is the first Oriole to make nine starts this season and hoping to replicate what he did against Tampa Bay on Monday. Last time that Andrew McCutcheon let off a game for the Pirates, he was 24 years old. And he long lines went up the middle, turning around the fastball, base hit, and he's on base. The Pirates get the leadoff man on, and Brian Reynolds cleanly shaven. Back to back hits to start the game for the Pirates and McCutcheon able to take third nobody out here in the first inning Carlos Santana who was one for three with a walk last night set of streaks for the Pirates who are going to get on the board here in the first inning even on a double play that will still score McCutcheon and the Pirates are up one nothing what that would do it was put Santana on at first base and taken out off the board which could potentially open up. A little bit more for the Pirates in this inning. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Give Santana a run batted in. So now it's one on, one down, and that'll get center fielder Jack Sawinski in the batter's box. Line drive, right field over the head of Adam Frazier. Went up to try and bring it down, but a couple of feet above that glove. And so it's first and second as Sawinski singles. He's into center field. Mullins got a late jump. He'll settle under it. Santana tags and heads from second to third. Sawinski holds up at first. Two and one for Marcano, 23 year old shortstop. That ball slicing into center. Mullins, a late break to get it. And the Pirates get one. Snap that Orioles starting pitching scoreless streak. Mitch will pitch today, and he has been very good. Mullins pushes a bunt. Hayes is going to hope it rolls foul, and he will have to keep on hoping. Diving play by Marcano to get it out. Oh, what a sensational play by the two Pirates middle infielders and they get it out on that. Santander leads off first. 3 2 pitch, there he goes. Swing and a miss. Hedges' his throw is going to be late. Stolen base. A strikeout, two down. And he watches a called third strike. Mitch Keller punches out Mount Castle and after one, it's the Bucks one, Orioles nothing. Tyler Wells had an outstanding changeup last night. How about that swing? Woo. Almost looked like Bay was thinking he'd get another changeup. And a base hit. Two out hit for Austin Hedges. And he strikes out swinging here. Right on right changeup and bookend K's for Kyle on the second. Full count. 3 2 from Keller. Swing and a foul tip for the strikeout. Three K's for Keller. Two innings complete. 2 2 pitch. And he swings and misses. Ball gets away. And and he's going to try and race to first before the throw from the pitcher, and he'll get there because Mountcastle couldn't ha hang on to it. The ball deflected all the way toward the end of the first base Orioles dugout and throws on to first to get Santana. On the play, Reynolds moves to second, and he takes ball four. Reynolds to second. Now Sawinski walks. Here's key Brian Hayes. Fly to center field in the first. And there's a hit. And he rolls it through the right side, and here comes Reynolds to the plate. He's going to score. Sawinski stands up at third. Key Brian Hayes drives in the run, and the Pirates are up two to nothing. G1 Bay now at the plate, struck out in the second against Gibson. On the ground, just past Mount Castle. That brings in one. Hayes will score as well. G1 Bay, a two run single, and the Pirates lead 4 0 with Keller on the mound. James McCann, who has a hit in his first start of the series. Nice ovation for Joey Ortiz. Trying right there, but Ortiz took it, and he's down on strikes. Four strikeouts already for Keller. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss. He strikes out Henderson, and that's number five. Went the distance, and a swing and a miss, and a breaking ball. And Mountcastle had no chance there either. Six Ks now for Keller. No, he didn't. Mitch has got that glove side command with his fastball working right now. Four nothing Pittsburgh, and there's a one hopper to G1 Bay. Lobs it on to first to retire Frazier. Here's the 2 2 pitch, and a ground ball to the shortstop. And Marcano goes on to first to retire. Hayes and the Orioles and through four. Mitch Keller blanking the birds. Sawinski walks for a second time. There's a nice tantalizing sweeper and the first swing and miss he's picked up on that pitch today. It'll be a base hit for Marcano as Sawinski takes second. Trying to get out of the fifth, Kyle Gibson. And Bay to first, Mount Castle's there. He'll toss to Gibson. Had to hurry against one of the faster runners in the game. Keller already with six more strikeouts today. He has now walked a batter. Seven strikeouts for Keller. Hard to keep track. Whew. 
Another one two pitch from Keller. And a called third strike. Mitch Keller has punched out eight. Two away here in the fifth inning. This is fun to watch right now. And there's a dribbler. And off the mound goes Keller. Bare hands throws and gets him. That was toward the third base side. And Mitch Keller, who pitched a shutout, his last start has now gone five shutout innings in his follow-up start. Keller has since retired 15 of the last 17 batters. And another strikeout for Keller. <laughs> Nine strikeouts for Mitch Keller. I mean, look at that. Santander got an inside sinker, just beat it the other way in the left for the Orioles. Third hit. 2-2, two, two, called third strike. Or just go ahead and do that. Goes <laughs> back to the front up. That's number 10. That matches a career high for the Pirates' delivers. Swing and a miss for a strikeout and a new career high. 11 punchies for Keller. Mitch Keller taking the ball today and doing what he's supposed to do. 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. He's got a dozen. Three straight punchies for Keller. Hayes pounds one through the left side. Here's a base hit for Austin Hayes. And make it a seven game hit streak for him. A dozen strikeouts for Keller. Make it 13. 13 strikeouts for Keller. <laughs> Mitch Keller. Oh, this is just fun to watch right here. The hitters know it's coming. And a weak fly ball. And Mitch Keller, if that's it for him today, what a sparkling outing. 13 strikeouts, no walks, and no runs. So two down, and here comes Gunnar Henderson. So two out. Henderson drills one to right field. That is a fair ball, and let's see if this can break the shutout. Ballins is going to be hold it, held at third. It's the hold up there from Tony Mancellino as Sawinski got to it quickly. And we're now with Keller out of the game. Second and third. Orioles in need of a big knock. Can Ryan Mountcastle do it? Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that does it for the Orioles. Couple of K's for Holderman. Go to the ninth inning in Baltimore. Just what the Orioles need. Base runners. Stowers. Struck out all three at bats today. 16 strikeouts by Pirates pitchers today. With the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. The cheers you hear are for Adley Rutschman. He's reached base three times in each of the first two games of this series. Orioles need him to reach base here to bring the tying run to the plate. Popped up to Hayes. And the Pirates do it. They shut out the Orioles. Ben Nahr makes a winner out of Mitch Keller. Mitch Keller strikes out 13 in seven innings, the most by a Pirates right-handed pitcher since Jose De Leon in 1985.